everybody, welcome back around to the blog and grill. I'm your host, Doug, here with your video blog for June 17, 2014. Just a great blog plan for you today. We're going to go MLB action, New York sports update. We'll go live to the FIFA World Cup as well. But first, I want to get to the NBA Finals. The NBA Finals concluded Sunday night with the Spurs taking down the Heat 101 107. 101.87, a big win for them for sure. And really, the Spurs win their fifth title in 15 years with Tim Duncan picking up his fifth ring, a ring now for Timmy's thumb, and the Spurs just outplayed the Heat in every facet of the game. They moved the ball so well. Kawhi Leonard wins the MVP, the second, really the second youngest MVP. Magic Johnson won it twice be younger than Kawhi Leonard. Um... And really what it comes down to is pretty much what we do in sports after every title is won is we discuss what's next for the winning teams. And if we look at the Spurs, I think the Spurs team could easily come back next year and win this title again. You're going to have Patty Mills a year older. You're going to have Kawhi Leonard a year older and a year wiser and a year better for sure as he's moving into his prime. Tim Duncan, I think, will be back. He's going to be as good as he's been. Tony Parker was a little banged up. He could come back healthier. Manu Ginobili is going to be still a solid player. And if they can get Boris Diaw as a free agent and Tiago Splitter to just continue to improve, this team could be another ch a champion again next year. And the other question is, what does it mean for the Heat? And I think the bigger question is, what does it mean for the Heat? The Heat, Shane Battier is probably going to retire. James Jones could retire. Richard Lewis could retire. I think Ray Allen will stay in town if LeBron does. I think best-case scenario for this team no, none of the big three opt out. They all stay. Um, they get. They pick up some pieces with and some free agent money that they have from Battier, from James Jones, from Richard Lewis, just to bring in some complimentary players for these guys. And eventually, I think Dwayne Wade's going to have to take a pay cut, and Chris Bosh could leave. But they do not need to bring Carmelo Anthony in. And this team will probably win the East next year regardless if LeBron James stays. So really, all they have to do is get rid of some of the older pieces, keep the core three, and move right through to next year for sure. We will be following all NBA free agency, and we'll have more on NBA free agency on the blog on Thursday. FIFA World Cup, U.S. wins 2-1. to one. John Brooks, the goal in the 86th minute off the corner kick with the big win. Clint Dempsey scored in the first 30, 32 seconds of the game, the fifth fastest goal in World Cup history. U.S. looked good. Defense was solid. They were peppered for sure. Tim Howard played pretty well. Gave up that one goal on kind of a defensive breakdown in the box in the 81st minute. Um, I liked what I saw. They're going to have some injury issues. Josie Altidore strings his hamstring. He will be evaluated today. Hopefully it's a grade one strain and he could be back within a week and a half. Probably He'd probably miss the Portugal, Portugal game but he could be back for the Germany match. And Clint Dempsey has a broken nose. He broke it in the 33rd minute. He played through to the end of the game. We'll see if that heals up at all. But really, that's just going to be an injury that Dempsey's going to have to play with. Let's go to the group standings. I want to give a group standings update on all of the groups in the World Cup right now. Then we're going to go. Um, we'll take a look at today's matchups as well so that'll be fun too so let's first look I'm trying to get it here using the sports center app here um let's go to the fifa world cup and first we're going to look at group a the group a table shaping up to be a good one we got brazil and mexico at the top of three cameroon croatia they both lost their zero netherlands and chile on top in group b with australia and spain surprisingly struggling Colombia, Ivory Coast, they're up with three points each. Costa Rica, Italy, they have three each in Group D. England, Uruguay are losing that one. France and Switzerland at three apiece in Group E. Ecuador, Honduras with none. In Group F, Argentina with three. Iran, Nigeria, they tied yesterday. And Bosnia, Herzegovina, they are at zero. The Group of Death, Ghana and Portugal with zero. Germany, USA with three apiece. And Group H play will get going today. And that brings us to our matchups of the day. We have Group H. They'll start off at noon with Belgium, Algeria. That's at noon. 
the 6 o'clock game is the second half of that one, Russia-South Korea. And a good matchup at 3, Brazil versus Mexico, probably. Brazil, the winner of this one, will clinch a spot in the next round. So that's going to be exciting to watch for sure, as one of these two teams will lock up their spot in the round of 16. Let's go to some Major League Baseball action. The Kansas City Royals are hotter than a fox in a forest fire right now. They have now won eight games in a row, playing really well. They have, they're getting a lot of good starting pitching, starting to hit the ball with Mike Moustakis, Eric Hosmer, Billy Butler, Alex Gordon. They're starting to hit the ball. Batting averages are up. Pitchers are pitching well, and they have cut into the Detroit Tigers' lead. Last night they beat the Tigers 11-8. to Justin Verlander once again struggles. Verlander, he has the fastball velocity, but he's not locating well. Kansas City, with a win tonight, could take the lead in this division. And it's a really exciting thing to watch, this Kansas City team. Um, they're a good young team. They have a lot of young pieces with Nostakis and Hosmer at the two corners. They got some veteran pitching and also some young pitching with Giordano Ventura. Our matchup tonight for the Royals Tigers is going to be Jordano Ventura against Max Scherzer. So another good matchup. Ventura has been pitching better. Scherzer, he's been pitching well too. So we're going to look at that matchup. But the Royals are the hottest team in baseball. Keep an eye out for them. We'll have our MLB power rankings on Thursday as well. Let's finish up here with your New York sports update. Yankees over the weekend dropped two out of three to the A's. They finished their road trip a serviceable five and four. They're now 35-33. and 33. They trail Toronto by 4.5 in the East. They start a three-game set with Toronto tonight. We'll see Marcus Stroman 3-1-5-1-8 versus Masahiro Tanaka as Tanaka goes for his 11th win of the year. He is 10-1 with a 2.02. Mets over the weekend took two out of three from the Padres. They're now 31-39, and 39, just five and a half games back of Atlanta. Last night they lost 6-2 to the Cards. They're at the cards again tonight. Jonathan Nice, 3-3, three 2-5-4, three, versus Michael Waka Waka, 4-5 with a 2-8-8. Eight, eight. We're going to have a lot more on the blog. We'll talk NBA for agency. we got the N NBA draft also coming up next week. World Cup is in full born. I am full throttle with the World Cup. I'll be catching some of that Russia-South Korea game later on today. Also, we'll be talking MLB power rankings as well. Always remember to follow me on Twitter, Yankee Baller 415 Comment, question, subscribe to my page. Thanks for tuning in to the Blog and Grill. I'll be back on Thursday. Have a good middle of your week.